Hello and welcome back to Nikki Talks Trailers. I'm Nikki Limo and today we have a very special edition of Nikki Talks Trailers. We're talking trailers that dropped during the Super Bowl. Yep, somewhere in between Lady Gaga and the Patriots upsetting the entire nation with that comeback, we got to see some pretty sweet trailers. I'm talking Baywatch, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Fast and the Furious 8, and Logan. Let's talk these trailers. So by now you probably know the links to the full trailers are always in the description if you want to check them out. I highly recommend it. Let's get started. First up we have Baywatch. This trailer is like a mini version of the trailer we last saw and I think it really zeroes in on calling out its own tropes. First up we have a slightly edgy race joke in which Zac Efron's character gets offended by being called you people. Which he gets called out right away by The Rock because he is not a you people, he is just tan. That followed by a scene with a swimsuit clad female, over sexualized in slow motion, being called out by another female character, which surprises the male character because he thought only guys could see hot girls in slow motion. Next up we have Fast and the Furious 8, and I know what you're thinking. One trailer with Dwayne The Rock Johnson is not enough trailers with Dwayne The Rock Johnson which is why we included this one. I remember when the first Fast and the Furious movie came out and it's crazy that they're on number eight now. That is eight movies of cars driving really fast. But if that's your jam, you're in luck because after eight movies, we got cars driving really fast. We got cars getting hit by a giant wrecking ball. We got tons of cars falling out of a bunch of windows of a building. And best of all, we got cars exploding out of icebergs and driving in freezing cold water. How do they do that? I don't know. You don't ask questions. All of your cars getting destroyed needs will be covered. Next up we got Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Okay, let me paint a picture for you. So we're listening to Fleetwood Mac while a giant Oscar statue looking thing is talking to us. And I know what you're thinking, but we're totally sober, we swear. Just ask the comically large octopus monster. So we got characters old and new who seem to be joining the main crew of this movie. We got Nebula with all of her daddy issues. We got Yondu and his dart thing. We got some new girl named Mantis who's very excitable. And of course, we got baby Groot who's naked by the way. Does anyone else see that or notice that he's a nude baby Groot? At the end we get a nice hero shot of the entire crew where Mantis just dies violently in a meteoroid accident. No one reacts, so I'm guessing she's probably fine. And last up we have Logan. This isn't the first trailer we've seen of Logan and it's a little vague, but we know by now that this creepy girl looking like something straight out of the omen is kind of like a Wolverine, I mean Logan, protege. We get a couple of shots of her kicking butt and I'm just gonna say it, she kind of fights like a girl. Just completely slaughtering fools left and right with knife hands, as girls do. At the end we get a nice close up of her holding Logan's hand so you know that even though she murders tons of fools, she still needs love. Which brings us to our last segment. I asked you on Twitter what your favorite trailer that dropped during the Super Bowl was and why. And here's what you said. Pirates of the Caribbean, because Will is back, Jack is back, Barbosa is back, and it looks like a hella good time. Tie between Logan and Baywatch. Why? Because Logan looks phenomenal and Baywatch has the rock. Guardians had amazing costumes, visuals, and a fantastic soundtrack. Logan, it's my kind of film. It's interesting to see the connection with the girl and Logan's older, it adds a new angle. Guardians 2, Baby Groot is so cute, Drax I tried guys cracked me up. Transformers. It's based on a true story. And that's all we have for this week's Nikki Talks trailers. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more episodes. And also, follow me on Twitter, at Nikki Limo. I ask you guys questions all the time. And also, you could just tweet me to talk to me. I'm lonely. I'll see you next time. Bye.